Smile and learn. Hello, my angle-loving friends. Welcome to my new gym. How about I teach you to add angles? How? Don't you know how to add angles? Don't worry, I'll tell you. Let's take it one step at a time. We use the sexagesimal system to measure angles, which uses degrees, minutes, and seconds as units. You already knew that, didn't you? Also, let me remind you that one degree is equal to 60 minutes and one minute equals 60 seconds. Today we'll learn how to add angles with some examples. You'll see how easy it is. Let's start! We need to add the following angles. On one side we have one measuring 22 degrees, 35 minutes, 15 seconds. And on the other side we have one measuring 63 degrees, 21 minutes, 30 seconds. What would be the exact sum of both angles? Pay attention! The first step is to put the angle measurements we want to add, one below the other. Just like regular addition. But be careful, the numbers have to match exactly. That means degrees goes under degrees. Minutes goes under minutes. And seconds goes under seconds. Once we have placed the angles correctly, we have to add each column separately. We'll start by adding the seconds. 15 seconds plus 30 seconds is... 45 seconds. Now we'll add the minutes. 35 minutes plus 21 minutes is... 56 minutes. Lastly, we'll add the degrees. 22 degrees plus 63 degrees is... 85 degrees. It's important to remember that the answers for the seconds and minutes columns must have a value between 0 and 59. In this case, we already have the final result, 85 degrees, 56 minutes, and 45 seconds. Ooh, this is tiring, huh? Let's look at another example. We're going to add the following angles. On one side, it measures 48 degrees, 12 minutes, 57 seconds. And on the other side, it measures 36 degrees, 39 minutes, 25 seconds. What would be the exact sum of both angles? Pay close attention. Remember, first we must place the angle measurements we want to add, one below the other. Just like regular addition, that means degrees goes under degrees. Minutes goes under minutes. And seconds goes under seconds. Once we have placed the angles correctly, we have to add each column separately. We'll start by adding the seconds. 57 seconds plus 25 seconds is... 82 seconds. Now we'll add the minutes. 12 minutes plus 39 minutes is... 51 minutes. Lastly, we'll add the degrees. 48 degrees plus 36 degrees is... 84 degrees. Remember that the answers for the seconds and minutes column must have a value between 0 and 59. And you may be wondering why? It's very easy. Remember, I told you we are going to measure angles using the sexagesimal system. Now, let's check your memory. How many minutes are in a degree? That's right. There are 60 minutes in a degree. How about seconds? How many are in a minute? Very good. There are 60 seconds in one minute. You have a great memory. So, if the minutes or seconds are more than 59, we will have to subtract 60 minutes or seconds from them and add it to the unit to the left of it. Let's take a look at our sum. 
It is 82 seconds, which is more than 60. That means that it is more than one minute. What we have to do is subtract 60 seconds from the 82 seconds we have to move one minute to the left, that means to the minutes column. We subtract 60 seconds from 82, and now we need to move the 60 seconds to 51 minutes, giving you the total of 52 minutes. In our example, we see that the minutes are less than 60, so this calculation would be complete. The final result is 84 degrees, 52 minutes, and 22 seconds. Remember that if the minutes value is greater than 59, we would do the same calculation but in the minutes and degrees column. Are you ready to try one on your own? Well, I'm going to say and do some exercise. I feel a little rusty. Oh no! So practice adding angles and you will see how much fun it is. See you soon! Hey friends! The previous day we learned how to add angles and today we're going to learn how to subtract them. Are you ready? As you know, we use the sexagesimal system to measure angles. That means they are measured in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Also remember that 1 degree equals 60 minutes and 1 minute equals 60 seconds. Today we'll learn how to subtract angles with some examples. You will see how easy it is. The first step is to place the angle measures of the angles we want to subtract in the same format as a normal subtraction the smaller angle under the bigger angle. And how do we know which one is bigger? Well, we have to look at the degrees. The number that has the largest degree will be the largest angle. If the degrees were the same, we would look at the minutes and the largest one would go on top. And if they were the same as well, we would look at the seconds and we would do the same thing. Once we know which angle is larger, we have to place the degrees under the degrees, the minutes under the minutes, and the seconds under the seconds, so we can subtract them correctly. The angles we will subtract are the following 245 degrees, 12 minutes, 25 seconds, and 128 degrees, 9 minutes, 57 seconds. Which one will we place on top? That's it! This one here, since the degree is larger! Very good! Once we have placed the angles correctly, we have to subtract the seconds first, then the minutes, and finally the degrees. In the seconds column, we see that we have to subtract 57 from 25, and we know that this is not possible. So what are we going to do? We will take one minute off from the minutes column and give it to the seconds. So we will have 11 minutes and 85 seconds. How did we get to 85? Because one minute is 60 seconds. 60 plus 25 is 85. If we subtract the minutes, then the same thing happens meaning that the top number is less than the bottom one. Subtract 1 from the degrees and add 60 to the minutes and continue on with the subtraction. This is exhausting! I'm going to freshen up a bit. Now we can subtract. Here we go. 85 seconds minus 57 seconds is... 28 seconds. 11 minutes minus 9 minutes is 2 minutes and 245 minus 128 is 117 degrees. So our final result will be 117 degrees, 2 minutes and 28 seconds. Good job! Wasn't it simpler than it looked? 
You'll see how quickly you can get the hang of it. Time to do some training. Oh no! Not again. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.